Okay, so welcome to um, to how to Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Anime Guide Loops. So in this uh, video, we're going to be uh, I'm going to be guiding you on loops, and we're going to have Declan Akaba who duels um Jean Michel Roger, you know, in the Arc V anime, explain to us, you know, a loop, okay? So he's going to just demonstrate, you know, as Jean Roger interrupts the duel and just explain really on just, you know, the looping things. Hopefully you'll get that. So let's get right to it. Here I go. Ha! Triple D Chaos King Apocalypse's special ability allows me to summon it during your turn. But by doing so, I must get rid of Double D Savant Thomas and Double D Savant Nicola from my Pendulum Zone. Okay. I know for a fact that Pendulum Summoning is an important weapon for you. So now that you've abandoned it, you are never going to win. I wouldn't be so sure. Hmm. Very interesting. When Double D Savant Nicola is destroyed, I can return one Pendulum Monster on the field to my hand. This allows me to once again set the pendulum scale with Savant Nicola and Savant Thomas. What's going on here? Now, I activate the trap dark contract with the swinging abyss. Whenever a double D pendulum monster returns to my hand, my opponent takes damage equal to my monster's defense points. We're just getting started. Chaos Apocalypse has 2,000 defense points. So you take 2,000 points of damage. Oh, that's a lot of damage! Which is all the life points you have left. Okay, stop. Not for long. Yeah, it's rewind time. Penalty, 2,000 life points. You can never get rid of me, Declan. Yes, and now I have you exactly where I want you, Roger. I've been caught in a deadly combo from which there's no escape! We're just getting started. When Double D Savant Nicola is destroyed, I can return one Pendulum Monster on the field to my hand. This allows me to once again set the Pendulum Scale with Savant Nicola and Savant Thomas. Hold up! Wait a minute! Something ain't right! Now, I activate the Trap Dark Contract with the Swinging Abyss! Whenever a Double D Pendulum Monster returns to my hand, my opponent takes damage equal to my monster's defense points. Stop! Stop! He's already dead! Chaos Apocalypse has 2,000 defense points, so you take 2,000 points of damage. Did not see that coming. Which is all the life points you have left. <laughs> Penalty, 2,000 life points. You can never get rid of me, Declan. Yes, and now I have you exactly where I want you, Roger. That's absurd. Is it? <laughs> when Double D Savant Nicola is destroyed, I can return one Pendulum Monster on the field to my hand. This allows me to once again set the Pendulum Scale with Savant Nicola and Savant Thomas. Oh, no. Now, I activate the Trap Dark Contract with the Swinging Abyss! Whenever a Double D Pendulum Monster returns to my hand, my opponent takes damage equal to my monster's defense points. Make it stop! Make it stop! Chaos Apocalypse has 2,000 defense points, so you take 2,000 points of damage. Don't, please don't do this. Which is all the life points you have left. Okay, and I think with that, I've explained really all there is about, like, you know, loops. I think Declan has really showed you what a loop is. So I hope you, you know, you like this video. And hopefully this is something that will help you understand loops a bit more in Yu-Gi-Oh. So hope to see you soon. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh master. My fate, right, is in your hands. Um, hopefully I'll see, hopefully you know, you'll, you'll subscribe to this channel and uh, wait a couple of minutes and you'll, seconds, sorry, and you'll see some other videos that appear on my channel.
Hope to see you soon and thank you.